there folks and welcome to another episode of Michael in the Backyard. This episode might be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of a collaboration with myself and another YouTuber that lives near me called K6. Outdoors is his name, his channel. His name is Kyle. And he wanted to do something special for his girls. They like riding on uh, little wagons behind the tractor. So he's seen where they make, and I've seen it before, where they take barrels and put them on wheels and pull them behind things, make like a little train out of it. And he was talking to me about buying a welder, which eventually he will do for sure. And then also he was talking about buying some tubing, where I buy my tubing from. And then I, then he's got to buy wheels and stuff like that. And he's like, wanted to build one, build one that has like two together. He's got three girls. He says he's not worried about building a third one just yet because the, the youngest is pretty small and probably would ride with one of the other ones. And I said, he was over here and I got to thinking, I told him, I said, well, I got a trailer. And this is a trailer, just to give you a little history behind it, this is a trailer that came out from underneath Big Blue. If you follow me on my other channel, this is the trailer that used to be under Big Blue over here. Oh, and these semis think I really love it when they jake break. <laughs> he ain't jake breaking, just noisy. Anyway, that's the trailer that was underneath here. Obviously this other trailer I built fits this boat better than this little dinkus of a trailer does. And I told him, I said, well, heck, we already got a couple of axles here, so you can build two of them. There's enough metal here to, we can narrow this axle up, we can narrow the frame up, we can make two individual, there's enough material. What I'm saying is there's enough material for two. And he goes, you know, that's just a good enough bad idea, it might work. So, with that being said, and he doesn't know, he thinks, because this is one I tried to sell this past fall. Boat trailers don't sell well in the fall just like boats. In the springtime, this would command a little bit more money. But I had a guy that offered me as much as $150 for it, but never came through, as some th sometimes it happens on Facebook Marketplace. And, where'd my dog go? Oh, he's over there. Anyway, he doesn't know it yet. He said, I'll give you $150 for that, because you don't have to buy anything. It's all here already. All the metal, all the axles, there's some fenders. We can do some fun stuff with that. And uh, I got a welder, we got grinders, bands, portable band saws. Well, anyway, what you're gonna see is a before shot. And we're just gonna take that shot right now. Here's the before. And at the end of this video, we'll put the shots together. You can see the before and after. As we turn this into something else. Now, what he doesn't know and he won't know until the end or until he sees this video is I'm gonna donate this trailer to him. So he doesn't know that part. So throughout the rest of the video, you know, he might do some things and he might say some things, but the, this is all gonna be a donation because it's $150 He's gonna bring a lot of joy to his kids. His kids, he said, will be overjoyed. He goes, you should see them when I pull them in the wagon. Wait till we pull them in a little train behind the tractor. And I said, well, let's do that. I said, let's build it, let's make it happen. And uh, there again, like I said, I'm gonna donate the trailer to the cause. So he won't have any money in there except for what he buys for bandsaw blades, maybe some welding supplies here and there, stuff like that. Sounds like a fair thing to do, doesn't it? All righty, well, what you're gonna see next is I'm gonna hook this thing up to the Jeep, drag it over to the doctor's table. And you guys that follow me on my other boat channel know what I mean by the doctor's table, I think, because it's where I reconditioned that entire trailer on the cement pad that, as you know around here, the, whoever owned this property before me, I know who it was, but when they poured concrete, they did not believe in rebar. They did not believe in forms, for the most part, it looks like. They didn't believe in a lot of stuff. And that's why these pads look like this. Big old cracks, big old separations, tilt and lean and no footings, you know. But that's okay. 
we're gonna pull it right over here because this is close to the shop where I can drag drop cords out for whatever I need drop cord stuff for and the tools are handy here but I want to get it over here he's coming over here in a little while not about another hour and I'm gonna get it pulled over here and see if I can soak a whole bunch of stuff down with PB blaster so we can start the whole thing tonight is disassembly so let's watch it all happen Folks, as you saw, Kyle and I got after that trailer. Let me show you. And we lost some light there. It gets dark earlier now, so we're not having as much daylight filming time. So we had to knock it out as quickly as possible, which we did. And I want you to bear witness to what we call was trailer. These are all the parts and pieces and piles of bolts, leaf springs, shackles, fenders, well, his tongue is still intact with the trailer jack. Then we kind of kind of loosely put one together over here, kind of get a mock-up of how it's going to, what it's going to maybe kind of be. We're, we'll cut those bunks down, obviously, to make them short. We'll get rid of, like, this section in the middle here, and then we'll use the ends because that's going to cradle the barrel. That's kind of what we're thinking. We took about two foot out of the center of the frame, and by doing that, let me get over here, by doing that, we got to bring the frame together. We only got to weld down the middle. We didn't cut the ends off. You know, just make it easier on ourselves. Now the trailer axle here, we're gonna still maintain these pads. And Kyle and I were talking, we're not gonna use the leaf springs because for the application to make this, let's say, you know, you've been, like he said in his, I think in his video, it's a pumpkin patch type ride, right? Where the, you cut out the barrels so the kids can get in, you pull them around. It doesn't need a lot of suspension. And we can't even make this spring light enough, per se, to actually act like suspension. You need like a little lightweight coil spring. And that's just a lot of pain. Whereas you can take these tires and just take them down to five pounds of pressure or less. And I think these are tube tires, if I'm not mistaken. And just let the let the tires absorb some of the shock but whatever we come up with width wise here i'm going to measure from here to there and we'll take a section out of the middle of the trailer axle here in the middle right in this area here and bring those pads spring pads back underneath that part of the frame and then that will be a place to weld the frame directly to the axle Make sense? I like it. All right. Uh, I need to take a minute here to throw, do throw dog with my Frisbee. <laughs> throw Frisbee with my dog. And then he can relax. And then I'm going to... I had an oopsie. I'll explain how that happened here in a minute. I'll have to pick up this little incident later. Well, let's just tell you what happened here. 
this is a motor I was going to work on. See if I can get running. It's stuck. Engine stuck. But I've got it soaking. And then I took the front brace off so I could put bolts on here to get some more leverage on the engine. Didn't work. We're just going to let it soak for a while longer. And then I went to slide it back underneath there and it slid off my stand. I thought I had the back part anchored down. I did not. We'll have to get the cherry picker on that. But that's for a later date. Okay. Back onto this project. Kyle might be joining me later. Or he might not. He had some uh, things to do with his kiddos. And then he'll be back, possibly. But the cool part is we got all the outdoor work. Let's call it outdoor work done. The rest of it's going to be garage door open indoor work. Which is my favorite kind of work. It's fall. It's currently 65 in the shop right now. It's a little cooler than that outside. It's dipping down. Here we are amongst the fallness. And uh, it's 56 outside right now. Going to be a low tonight of 41. Hey, there's Kyle right there. Yep. He texted me at 6.38 at 6.41. I told him I was going to be in the shop. So he'll probably be over here. Um, so I'm going to get things ready. Because we got to do some grinding, some tack welding, and some stuff like that to start formulating a plan on how we're going to put these together. We got it up here. There's no blueprints. But the cool part is I'm going to take all this stuff off my weld bench here. These are projects I'm working on next. Put them on this bench. <laughs> And put the weld bench by the garage door so I can we can do all our welding and grinding and grind all our stuff out there and do all our welding over here. You know, that's the plan. So I'm going to bring in parts bit by bit, put you on a little bit of time lapse here, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just cut as the bink, bink, bink as I do things. So it's actually faster than time lapse this way. You guys leave comments below as to what type of, type of editing do you like? Or do you just like a mixture of stuff? This is all second channel stuff. Don't forget to share. We're trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to also keep the boat channel going as well. The RMD creations. The only downside to the boat channel this time of year is I watch you. The graph goes like this. Up in uh, June and then back down. Because my regular followers follow me all year long. They watch everything I do, and I do appreciate that. On that channel, 28% of my views from that channel are from subscribers. That's building up a great audience. And you guys all know who you are, who watch me on a regular basis. I appreciate it. Um, crazy part on this channel that the guys that came over from the other channel here to watch me over here as well, uh, just do everything else in the backyard. It's 33%. Uh, <laughs> But I've only had like 3,950 subscribers on this channel. But it's growing. It's starting to grow. I, I didn't do anything with it for a long time. Now I'm putting content back on it. Now it's growing. So it's kind of like diversifying. But I, my, my, my gut is that this channel, because it's everything not boat related, more or less, it won't be seasonal. Whereas my boat channel is very, very seasonal. Just to give you an idea, um, on a monthly basis, the other boat channel... We'll get about 140,000 views a month on that channel. And currently, it's in June, say peak June, July. Right now, it's down to like 65,000 views per month. Yes, that's still a lot of views. But it's literally less than half already. And we're in October. By December, January, whew, it even drops off a little bit more. That's okay. That channel is designed to be around boat stuff. You know, sponsored by great sponsors like SCI Marine and stuff like that. This channel is going to be about everything else to do. And I got a surprise coming. I don't want to reveal it what it is right now, but I've got something in the works. My wife are going to go drive about four and a half hours away and look at it. And hopefully I can make a deal. Hopefully it's worth making a deal on and we'll get it back here. And it's going to change the complexion of my content on this channel. And it's going to be fun. And it is going to truly be Michael in the backyard with this thing. So stay tuned for that. It's coming. 
Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. I got a lot to learn on it. I've never had one of these things before. Uh, when it comes to working on it, maintenance, and using it, it's going to be all new. And you guys are going to help me out because some of you guys know a lot about a lot of things. I know a lot, a little about a lot of things, I guess. Uh, as my son would say, uh, jack of all trades, master of none. That's right here. Uh, some of you guys are masters in your trade, and that's where your comments can help me out a great deal. So, without further ado, let's jump back into this, get that. My, my wife walked out into the yard yesterday when she was dealing with the dogs, and she's like, she was, oh my gosh, what happened over there? I said, well, that trailer. I said, we happened. It's a perfect example. If it ain't broke, fix it till it is. We fixed its little red wagon, and now we're going to make it into two wagons. All right, let me drag some stuff in here and get busy. I think I just built benches just because, you know, I needed some more flat surfaces to hide stuff. Oh, one thing I will admit, <laughs> we were cutting through some weld on this frame. And I cut through several welds, and you guys have seen me in the past cut through welds, I believe, with those band saws, and they do pretty good. The blades hold up. I hit something that I ain't kidding you. It was like glass. One of the blades, it just peeled all the teeth off. Like one revolution, all the teeth were gone. The back side of the blade, the front side of the blade were equally as smooth. So still got a couple blades here if we need them. Make some more room here. Oh my god. Now this piece is heavy. It's got cast iron. Manifolds and stuff in it. 50. Some of you commented about me welding in my Hawaiian shirts. You're not wrong. They're polyester, I believe, and they melt. But I had an older one on, so I wasn't worried about it. I put a cotton t-shirt, Carhartt t-shirt over it uh, to protect it because we're going to do a little bit of welding tonight. Perfect. Now, always keep your scrap bucket near. Oh, that's hot. Woo! Keep your scrap bucket near. I use a little five gallon bucket to put all my scrap pieces in and then periodically I dump it out in my big barrel and then eventually that goes to the scrap yard. That's how it goes. Whew, we got some straightening up to do on that one. That was nasty. I kind of want to mock up and weld this one together to, tonight to kind of give us an idea where we're heading. But there again, clean it up first. Now, I won't touch that one because I learned my lesson already. I can learn. It's probably, probably a little warm. Woo. All right. I went ahead and cut these off clean, the ones that we cut crooked last night. And then I've channeled this. My thoughts are. It's still good. The battery's still good in your helmet? Yeah, it looks like it is. See, I think if we do something like that, it brings it up just about perfect. So I might say, it's not just good. It's good, it's good enough. But yeah, we line. So we can do something like that. Ah! 
Alright, we're live from the shop. Well, the good news is, is this little wagon's gonna be able to support about 3,000 pounds by itself. <laughs> My kids weigh about 50 or 60 pounds, so, yep. I mean. The very definition of overkill is right here. If you look it up in the dictionary, overkill, it'll have a picture of this right here. But we're trying to be kind of like repurposing, green, eco-friendly. That. Uh, sure, we're, we're trying to repurpose the materials that, um, yeah, we've got, we've got a little money tied up in the boat trailer itself, but I can guarantee you what we have for, you know, investment in the trailer, this hunk of steel right here probably is the same exact cost. Yeah. And we're making two wagons and we still have more pieces to put on this, let alone the axles and the wheels. Yeah. So, again. Be very, resourceful, people. Very economical way to do this. And you've seen on Michael's channels before. I know, you know, this isn't his main boat channel, but he's talked about, you know, repurposing things. He's done a lot of that stuff around the property here with his his uh, dry dock situation and yep. just be be resourceful. I guess I don't know. That's yeah, the best I got. We're actually trying to see how much of this we can get done without buying a single thing. I think the only thing that we I might have to buy is. No, I don't, maybe not. At this point, probably nothing, unless yeah. I want to buy seat belts, which you probably can figure something out. Yeah. But do you have any old boat wheels sitting around anywhere? Steering wheels? Steering no, wheels? those all went with the boats. See, now, now cool. we're going to have to spend money. We're over budget. Or we can just cut it out of a no, piece of no, circular we're, wood no, we're gonna have to, that we're out, I have here. We're out of budget now. We're over budget. Over budget. Scrap the project. We're done. Going home. Dang it. We were this close, folks. I'm just kidding. This is working really well. We're grinding this little number off here. Yeah, you're a little far away on that well. Shut weld. up! Seal the whole thing. I know. <laughs> I couldn't see it first. I know it. I thought I could see better than I could, then I realized I got too far out, and then it was too late. <laughs> it worked. In a hold. Porosity is fine. It's fine. Well, what do you want to do next, K6? I think we should get an axle and want cut it. Want to cut an axle and, put, and position it? I think so. Let me finish this here. And we'll... I'm down like a clown for that. We can take those all the way down to Chinatown there. And we can hammer it all the way out. Just weld them on instead of bolting damn things. I can. I think we should. What do you think? Why wouldn't we? <coughs> we're doing the right thing. I don't know. I mean, hey, we're following. Don't forget to like. Like it? <laughs> if you don't like it, that's fine. Shameless plug. Yeah, that, look at that. How. I mean. We got that tilted right in there it's so it's almost flat like it, against the barrel. It's almost like it held a boat before in that way. Yeah. Well, almost like we were on purposely doing this but that'll give a screw straight in straight in straight in and that ain't going nowhere picture pictures so we have proof that we're yeah. doing something yeah <laughs> i gotta, gotta justify why you're over here <laughs> you're not just drinking beers i should be doing that too hey you know i should <laughs> all right so the good news Sweet. is is that it's gonna work this is some good old growth pine too. Look how tight those rings are. Oh wow. <laughs> that was not as tight, but that's like uh, that that's some tight pine. It's crazy. That's why I almost threw this other piece that I cut out in a burn barrel. I'm like, no, that wood's still too good to, to <laughs> It's like, got a couple of years of life. It's, left on I could pull the carpet off of it and All right. Plan. I like it. This is more fun than it should be. Well, you know what we could do? weld it on there and then just take it off we can just take those bolts out and pull the bunks off that'd probably be we already got it there is that how we want it i think so that, that was looking pretty good i was looking at the parallelism here what do you got here. is it which which one is the datum you're going off of i'll make sure you're inspecting it correctly well with the with my calibrated icrometer i think you're uh it's not quite perfect but we'll be able to deal with it we can slide this one over some more i'm kidding So 
up against there. That's up against there. As vice grip would say, just a little adjustment with the Tanya Harding. <laughs> Oh yeah. You know what else you could do here is you could leave this hanging down and get you a piece of rubber. I can hang across here for a mud flap. <laughs> <laughs> Put on back of one wide load. Wide load. That's just fucking cool. You didn't connect it. That's for uh, water to get out. Oh, so it, so or in. in. <laughs> well, the cool part about it getting in up here when it fills up and it freezes, it won't get in this channel. <laughs> I had had that happen before. On my, I built a ladder rack for my S10, uh. and I welded it off solid. I thought I had it sealed up. Apparently, water in all four legs filled up about that far somehow. And one winter, it made the square tube into round with four corners on it. That's kind of cool, though. It does kind of neat. I mean, I do. It's amazing how the power of the hydraulics of the water of the water. All right, I'll, I'm gonna fill that hole in so it looks better. <laughs> it's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> If you don't know how to make it adjustable, then just weld it solid. Make it permanent. Cuts like butter. It's hot. Well, hit something. Felt like it was a burr sticking out, but it was not. All right, I like the old Weld and cut the fit method. It suits me. It's perfect. It's more my style. It's not just good. It's good enough. I was looking on Amazon and they have a, a three set of plastic wheels with the, with the nut and everything, or the pivoting center and everything. It's like, well, like $28, which isn't bad for three wheels, like plastic wheels. We're talking about oh, the steering wheels. Yep. It's like it's not horrible. Oh price. yeah. It's a... Yeah, I've never had a boat trailer that didn't growl. <laughs> and this one, that pisses me off a little. <laughs> it's probably brand new. Probably. <laughs> There's no, not hardly any play in it either. So bottom line is, these are good for the rest of the life of this actual. Because it's never going to go in water again. And even the more gooder news, these don't have them on there, but the other tires have little knobbies on them still. They are brand new. Yeah. So. I was going to see what the D DOT, there it is. They're a little dry rotted, but. I'm just curious what the, D they're looking for the date code too. I'll be damn. Oh, here's the date code. 11 to 17 on this one. These are only six years old. This is 71679. What? Too many numbers. That's what I thought. Should be four numbers. Usually it's in a spot where it's recessed. Yeah, like that, but usually it's ovals. Unless this one's way old. I venture to say this one's a little bit older. It's a lot older. Okay. Well, it's hard to say. That one's got knobbies on. This one doesn't anymore. Yeah. And this is all checked. Yeah. This one's this one's not even checked down the middle. This is only, <coughs> this is only six years That's old. That's that old tire. So, and those other tires are even better. So there's only one. The good news is, is it's street worthy that's all that matters it's not it's just good enough all right so we need the we need a marker yeah let's go in between here what do we got between there and there well we get her squared in there 50, 50. inches oh, is it 50 on the money it's close 50 and an eighth 50 and an eighth so, so that'd be 25, 25 and a 16th 
Uh, right about there. The good news, guys, if you use a black marker and black paint, it's really easy to see when it's rusty. That's right. Now we gotta go 27, right? So that's 13 and a half yeah. each way. He's doing the math, so what's wrong? It's still my problem. <laughs> you still don't have an axle. <laughs> The good news is we got a metal lengthening device here that would help us out if needed. And we're getting, the even more best part is we're getting Michael's welding table broken. Oh, that's getting broken too. <clears throat> I hate to see It'd a piece like of It'd be like the third around. job that's done now. It's seasoned. I'd say uh, we get the axle snapped down short, smaller and tacked on and call her night quits for the night. Whatever you <clears> want to do. Does that sound good to you? Sounds fine. I don't want to keep you out past your, the governor's bedtime. I don't want you getting in trouble. One thing about being an empty nester. You make your own rules. With a wife that's used to doing this for 22 years. <laughs> she don't care. So it should be. Because I ain't out drinking and getting in trouble. That's how it should be. I mean, the good, he's, he's in trouble. He just. <laughs> if I'm in trouble, the world's coming to an end. <laughs> um. Hey, did you see where I put that black mark? Yeah, it's on the black paint. Oh, right, where the black paint was. It's right here, isn't it? It's 13 and a half. Somewhere. Yeah. I, I see it. Yeah, I can see it. Of course, it's, it right, it's right there in front of plain daylight. Right there in front of the black paint. It's that part is I do have silver markers, too. Does our math seem right? Does that look right to you? Yeah, These two pieces. If I go here to here, I got <coughs> 17 and a half. 35 inches. And seven, how come I don't have 17 and a half from this end? It is, is this not the same? That's what I'm wondering. It's about, let's just go with two and seven, <coughs> eight. It should be. No. <laughs> Those spring pads are way off from one another. Well, that's convenient. I'll so let's be. Measure, let's measure from here then. Got another common. We're just measuring from, yeah, from the seal to the... <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's... 63 inches. 63 on the money. 31 and a half. Yep. Because that was 31, right? Yeah, 31 and a half to center. So okay, hold what you got. Oh, if you're yeah, that threw the center off. You ready? Yep. There's 31 and a half. Now we want to go 17 and a half, right? Yeah. You want your gray marker? No, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. So it's that short one. It doesn't really matter. It ends up being the same, but... Well, it certainly seemed a lot further off center than that. Well, this is in tighter. Yeah. All right. Oink. Oh, there it is. Okay. We want to cut this one, the outer one, on both of them. That's the outer one. Oh, that's the inner one. So we're going to cut the left of everything. Yeah. So it all moves. Yeah. And so you said we end up with what with the turtle? Measure it in here. And we'll cover up that line. Now this is where the black marker comes in. 17 and a quarter. Oh, the left one, sorry. Shit, Kyle. Yeah, the left one. 17. Oh, Jesus. Is it a fucking no, eight? go up against the seal. Oh, yeah. 17 and. What kind of fucking me tape measure is this? Go to the top Seven line. eighths. It's in fractionals. 17, yeah, I know. Yeah, we're good now. So 17 and 7 eighths plus 17 and 7 eighths is 35 and 6 eighths. <laughs> 35 and 3 quarter. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Yeah. That's where we want to be let's, there, Willis. Let's aim the camera let me, a little uh, bit this way. Yeah, let me, uh, let me get her up here a little closer to you. Right in the, in the action. I'll hold the wheel.
times I put my hand there, Blake smacked off. No, didn't. It. Yeah. Ouch. Didn't right. cut you, did it? No. Let's see what Hobo Freight for there. I was pushing too hard. Well, don't do that. Hold on, let me get that in a little further. Oh, there we go. Got it. Yeah. Someone said no harm, no foul. <clears throat> Voila. It's a piece of artwork. Uh. Square? Square. Yeah. It's impressive how fast it cuts through that stuff. Oh, man. Blows my mind every time. Mind right. blown. The cool part is we should be able to do one of these numbers, except for this doohickey. This doo doo brain of a thing. You want that? Is that you're looking for? I'm just thinking here how I want to do this. Let me get the, me get the other wheel and see if there's space. It's not quite in the middle, I don't think. We're making sure we measure and we're going to get this axle completely on center. That looks pretty straight. Because <laughs> we want this to... Slide this one. See, I didn't tighten that one crazy tight. No. I got, back there. I got a steel shock adjustment. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Some might say that's damn near perfect. <laughs> it's a good thing we remeasured that. Yeah. Now look, how, look how close that is, but now we just got to get it straight across. Uh, come on. I mean, that looks pretty See good. what you can do up here, anywhere in there. As you folks can see, we maintain the bracing across here, the strut, because we it don't was want, there. Yeah, because it was there. Because <laughs> it was there. The only reason. Right I would go. I would go straight to the axle because we don't know how the plates are accurate. Come into here, measure in. Either way. Yeah. So that's twenty-eight and three-eighths to the inside here. We <laughs> need twenty-eight in. Yeah. I guess as long as it's true to the front, so we're putting the tongue out. It's gonna be yeah. straight. 28 and a quarter. Now, the other thing we got to do now is get it so it's even this way. See how it's like, we got to measure from here to the pad. Folks, this is not a welding class. Guaranteed. I'll tell you one thing I won't do, it won't break. No. Oh, that'll work just fine. It's not pretty. I gotta give you shit about welding. It's bad. Otherwise. You won't strive to improve. At least I'm not the person like, oh yeah, I'm the best welder in the world. I'll tell you what, fellers and oh, <laughs> fellers and fellettes, you, you cannot weld me. Difference is, I'm willing to admit I suck. All right, that's pretty cool. We got one done. I know the lighting's going to be terrible out here. Just kind of get an idea. I just threw the bunks on there. They're not bolted down or anything. But there's one little trailer. Isn't that cute? Now. I gotta clean up this mess and start on the second one. And so far we've been out here 
47 minutes. Rest of it's gonna be in time lapse. Alrighty, let's get it going. Mr. K6. Trying to paint things with a rattle can. Oh. Trying. Welcome to the Michael's Backyard outdoor powder coat booth. With 15 mile an hour winds. Oh yeah. That's fine. Makes all the loose stuff blow away that wouldn't stick otherwise. You know, make sure you get over the good overspray. You don't want the, the bad overspray. Yeah, the good overspray. We got this guy here already masked up. He's gonna wire wheel it and do the same thing. Closing in on the finish line. All right, Michael's doing some CAD work out here. He's got the fielding tool out. He's adding some fill to the corners. We're gonna come back in and run a race to sharps because you know, we don't, so you get the idea. So what yeah. we're doing here is we, we uh, drew on the barrel. We're gonna come down here. We have a little opening for the kids to be able to walk in, go up and around. Go to this side and come straight across and you get the idea we'll take the jigsaw and we're gonna start cutting on these high density polyethylene drums that used to house something that was apparently caustic and was well floor cleaner so it says so we're gonna go ahead and try this here we got some <laughs> with the theme some used boat seats <laughs> shout out to kurt he's gonna hate hearing his name in the video but thank you so much for the boat seats i haven't said it already but you know michael's a huge help here he's He's, he's making the dream come true. There's going to be some happy kids. Um, we're going to throw those seats in the back, and then we're going to... We've got some treated lumber, and i got some steering wheels that we're going to put on the front, and some buckles just to add for safety. We're going to just keep plugging along. We're going to probably work for another hour and 15 minutes tonight. We'll see how we get. I'd like to get one done so we can see what it looks like and, uh, and maybe see the dream come true tonight. We'll see. Let's get back after it. All right, we're ahead and making up here seats here we got oh, it's fine we got the the belts bolted onto the base so we got safety safety first these nice boat seats are going to go in here we're going to get them bolted into place everything is turning out really really well mother nature decided to start raining on us but we're not going to we're going to ignore it we got the seat in here in a minute we got the steering wheel in and everything is looking perfect i mean perfect enough i guess enough Good enough. All right, Michael, what do you think? Success. I'd say great success. We got them all put together. We uh, just, uh, let's, I, I mean, we gotta get this one off the stand. We'll do that here in a second, but you get the idea. The tongue of this one goes to, well, male to female, as you can tell, or never mind. I should go down that road. Uh, gender neutral to gender neutral. Yeah, gender neutral to gender neutral. <laughs> we got the inside all, we got it outfitted. You know, we're probably gonna add some little up here and um, maybe 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 an umbrella we're gonna maybe I don't know we talked about making some canvas covers or maybe we'll cut a barrel in half to cover them just to keep the the wasps out it's not so much the weather because this stuff's all compatible but uh, let's be honest no one likes to get stung with wasps because that's a perfect place to hide we got the uh, again all painted up we got the bunks here uh, we got the seats actually they even fold down by design they it works pretty good. We got a drain hole in the back. We got the seat belts here for adjustability. Get in, buckle in just to add a little bit of safety. We got the steering wheels picked up on Amazon. And I mean, they just turned out phenomenal. Now we gotta load these up and get them home. My kids have no idea. I told them they're getting a surprise because they've been good. But I mean, I think I label this a little bit more than a surprise. Maybe, I don't know. That's it's been fun working on it again greatly appreciate michael if you guys haven't checked out his channel do it he's actually got two channels check him out he does a lot of fun stuff here on the property he calls the backyard marina michael's backyard living his life everything he just records everything because i think he likes to share with you guys the knowledge so like i do and you might find it informative and helpful and and maybe even a little entertaining probably not entertaining but you know <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit anyways we're gonna get these offloaded. I'm gonna get them in the trailer, get them home. I wanna show you guys the kids' first reaction. And then of course, we gotta try them out, but it's gonna have to be tomorrow because 
of course, Mother Nature, by, by design, it, it's raining and it hasn't rained all flipping summer and fall until these last three days when of course you're trying to get something accomplished. So hope you guys have enjoyed the build so far. Let's get the kids a reaction and, and again, thanks again to Michael for all the help on this. It's been, it's been great fun. Catch you guys here in the morning. Yeah. Load up, let's try it out. Get in. No, here, Belly, here. Step right here. Get in, Sam. Get in, sit down. Sit down. Is that perfect? Yeah. Woohoo! Is that awesome? Yeah. The, do you like it? Yeah. No, you stand up and just put your foot on it. I'm not putting my foot on the thing. Sammy, what do you think? Good. Uh -huh. Two thumbs up? 